What's up, everybody? This is Easy. Easy Street Gaming. A little delayed explosion, I think. Bringing you a brand new Brutal Age video. Going back to the partner guide. This is on the on the bore. Just so everyone knows, on the bottom of the screen, you're going to see a black bar. That's we are now subtitling in like 10 languages. So, until I figure out how to do this right. There'll be a little black bar on the bottom, trying to make it a little easier for people to have to read. Starting right off, Red Boar. Finally getting into some good partners. I, I think Boar is one of the is a one of the most important partners, especially starting out. One of the first tanks that you're gonna get, Red Boar, for the Legion skill. He has the Restraint Legion skill, which means that he will lower the opponent's morale. If he lives at the end of the partner battle, remember during every player versus player battle, your partners battle it out first. Don't forget to bring your partners to all your player versus player battles. Once the once the partners do their battle, then the stats will go on to the the actual army fights. First skill, we'll go into all the skills of, of each of the partners, and then we'll go into the war patterns. First skill is push up. All three of them have the first skill. I'll get into that a little more on the, on the next one because uh, we're already past it. <laughs> Second skill, Brutal Collision. This is an attack all. So first skill is an attack single, a single target. Second skill is a Brutal Collision. This is an attack all. Now remember, the, the boar is a defense oriented partner. So his, his attacks aren't based on his attack stats. They're based on his defense stats. We're going to try to get his defense up as high as possible. That will get his attacks up higher. Third skill is the Thick Skin. This is a defensive type posture. Um, when he uses the thick skin, I believe he get, he takes half damage, so it, it'll be twice as hard to kill him. I'm ranking him third out of the three out of the three boar. He does he does great single target damage. Does a lot of single target damage, especially once you get him up to to, to the max level. Um, but the other two boar just have they could you'll see why I, I think he's third. They, they're both gonna edge him out a little bit No leader skill at all the boar is a, one of the unusual partners. There's no Leader skill on two of the three maybe at the fourth awakening. We haven't gotten to the fourth awakenings yet We've just got the third awakening on three more partners yesterday uh, including the red drum so or the drummer drum Beater. Jeez. <laughs> Moving on. Blue Boar. He's prime time partner. When you're first starting out, you have to have the Blue Boar. If you're just starting, Blue Boar is you have to keep him. Use use other boars to upgrade him. Get his skill maxed out. He's an inspire. Uh, his legion skills inspire so if the blue boar survives your shaman your shaman troops will get a plus 30 on their morale now there's a lot involved with the legion skills uh, the last couple of videos that we just put out were on the talent pages I would suggest if you're if you're just learning go back and watch some of those other videos that, that are on the talent pages they'll kind of Walk you through what to do with the talent pages and, and how the partners affect uh, the the army. A lot to it. First skill. All three have the f same first skill. It's, it's push up. He's got a 25% chance to stun the enemy. Uh, also a 10% chance to taunt. And taunt is a is a really big skill. Um, that means that if he if he pulls off a taunt, that means that the enemy will focus on him and he won't be able to attack anyone else. And remember, their defense is going to be really high, so it's really hard to kill the boar. Second skill is the Frozen Clash. This is an attack all. And just like the red that attacks all on his second skill, the only difference is that he has a 50% chance to freeze the enemy every time that he hits him. I believe it's a freeze for one round. I'm not even sure. But I believe it's a freeze for one round. Third skill is Thick Skin. He gets all three skills right off, right off the bat, right away at, at level one as a three star. Uh... Thick skin is when his hit points are lower than 50%, the damage that he will receive will be lowered by 40%. So 
So not only is he already hard to kill, but his damage will be reduced by 40%. I'm rating him first, and I have a little side note on on the rating for for the boar, just because green has a very unique ability, and I'm not 100% sure of exactly how it works. I, I hate to even say that, but it's still something that I've been asking questions about, and I will update everyone as soon as I find out, and I'll, we will get into that more in a second. Now, as, as a six-star third awakened, he, he gets a big boost. He's got tons of hit points already as far as a three-star goes. Tons of defense, but no leader skill. Moving on to the green boar. Green's got a very unique ability. Kind of excited about green. At one point, I was telling everyone to, to throw green away because he's no good. He only had two skills, but then we had the awakening process come through. He's a defense partner that features immunity and, and retaliation. And retaliation is, is is huge. Even though it's not a huge percentage chance that he has it. His legion skill, if he survives, your warrior troops will get a 30% boost in morale. Unless you're playing in the fire frost. Then I believe it goes all the way up to like 90%. I think it's times 3, something like that. We've, uh, we have some crazy, uh, I have a video coming out on the fire frost and the bonuses you get there. It's unbelievable the, the sway that you'll get from morale uh, uh, in the fire frost events. First skills push up, all three have the same first skill. Uh, now, the boars, they, they'll, they will take an enemy partner out of the game. If they are targeting, uh, you know, enemy one, this is say, when they when they hit them with the push up, they will a lot of times they'll KO them. It does a ton of damage once they get up to the to the six star um, level forty. I mean they they just do a lot of damage. They they can take them right out of the game. Second skill, Green is much more defensive minded. He has th it's called thick bristle, and what this does is it increases his defense and becomes immune to all debuffs for three rounds. Makes him really hard to kill. So d even more tanky than the other two. And then his third skill, it's Hot Temper. Once he gets Hot Temper, he reduces his damage by even more. It's like 15% reduced damage and then a 20% chance to retaliate. And 20% is not, is not like the Red Nomad. You know, the Red Nomad is the big retaliation partner. We use Ian War Pattern with him to... So every time he retaliates, he gets some hit points back. I wouldn't suggest doing that with Green Boar just because he has a 20% chance of doing it. And um, we are working on finding out some information on if you can buff that 20% with something. I, I don't know the answer to that. I've been asked several times. Um, working on that still. And Green Boar does have the leader skill right from 3 star. It's a 30% hit point increase for the whole team. And, but it's only for a while. It's only for green. So, going to take a uh, little break from the boar for a second. I, I wanted to go over something that we're doing. Um, we have joined another site. It's called Patreon. Uh, new for Easy Street Gaming. A lot of YouTubers do it. Uh, it's a it's a se separate entity completely. Uh, what we do is we have three levels, three tier levels, and all three levels you get different things. It's it's a there's a cost involved. It's between five and twenty dollars to join, and it's basically a way for people to contribute to the channel and. In return, they'll, there's a lot of things that we're offering everyone. Um, just go down to the Patreon site. The link is in the description. I know I kind of flew, flew through it. I don't want to spend a lot of time uh, pushing people to Patreon. But it, I would suggest everyone go down there and see it. It's pretty cool. So, War Patterns. Coming up now, just a little disclaimer. Um, note that these are my choices that other players may choose to use different War Patterns than I do. Um, I do take into the into consideration the most popular war patterns, but these are my choices, not necessarily the right choices. <laughs> also, you may have noticed that I'm reading a lot of stuff that I don't normally read. I'm doing that so the subtitles will come through for the people that don't speak English, that don't understand my voice. <laughs> so, Red Boar, defense partner. At, at the 6 star, 3rd Awakening, his basic stats are pretty obvious. He's a defense partner, 531, speed's really low. He's got 25 hit. That's very rare for any partner. I think there's 4 or 5 in the whole game that has hit. Uh, Red Boar, they're known for the defense. Their attacks are based on defense, not attack. So we want to make sure defense is over 1500 combined. 
Red has a rare hit at 25%, so Corsac would also enhance that further. But you will lose 15% defense for the hit gain, so you want something to consider there. Uh, Red Boar is a great single target attacker. You can use him with the Catfish Fighter or the Red Drum Beater to, to help him out even more. Blue Boar, you'll notice that all three partners, I'm suggesting using all six bull. That will give them a 45% uh, defense increase right off the rip. And like the, like the Red, I would suggest using defense for the head, for the right arm. And you can use defense for the left arm as well, or you can use speed. A lot of people like to use speed to get his attacks up a little higher, but he is a defense partner, so even if he's not attacking, he's still benefiting everyone because they're all going to try to beat him down. He, you, remember, avoid hit point percentage because you want him to get attacked first. The lower the hit points, the, 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 they'll be attacked first. Blue Boar, also known for their defense, just like the other Boar, their attacks are based on defense, not attack. So we want to make sure the defense is over 1500 combined. On um, Blue's second skill, he does the freeze with with the collision on the attack all. That happens so often. I wouldn't even bother with Corsac to enhance it any uh, because it go, because it happens so often. The original tank. So use with the healer, use with the shielder, and he'll do really well. Moving on to Green, also six bull to get that 45% defense increase. His speed is the highest of the boar at 92, <laughs> still pretty low. Defense at 551. Uh, hit points at 5,338. Attack is really low, but remember, his attacks are based on his defense. Use defense percentage up top on all three, or at least the head and the right hand. You can use speed on his left hand. Green is definitely the most defensive orientated, so you really want his defense up as high as possible. I believe because of his retaliation, uh, it gives him an advantage, but no need to use that Ian War pattern. If you want to try to enhance the retaliation, you can use an artifact. It's called the Bloodstained Tusk. It's rare, very rare. You have to have the, the, the latest partner, that uh, Valiant Tusk or whatever his name is. The little baby boar face. <laughs> Tips on the right bull war pattern and second through fifth attributes to look for. The, the boar success, like many three-star partners, need to have elite war patterns for the best results. Go figure that. So that means to make sure that they have two or three skills at level zero. That way their second and third attributes will get upgraded a few times. Now, defense is their strong point. So make sure defense is in all of their attributes and all of their skills. Speed on the left hand or in the second through fifth on all of them as well. So. Remember, defense all over the, these war patterns. Try to use elite war patterns. I appreciate everyone for watching. Subscribe to Easy, Easy Street Gaming. Go on and check, check out Patreon. We've had a few people already uh, join. Thank you guys very much. We're, we're putting together something really nice for everyone that's joined. Coming up next, we have the Blonde and the Berserker. I want everyone to just remind everyone that we are not paid or sponsored by affiliated with Brutal Age or Type of Fun. We're using their characters, but it's just a, just for fun. They're not responsible for anything that's said or done on our channel. Hope you enjoyed everything, guys. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care.